Hello everyone! More people and companies are switching to summer mode, taking time to relax and recharge. For me, summertime is always a hot season for new ideas. As usual, follow my Power Semiconductors weekly updates, the first and only platform for Power Semiconductors industry. And now, let's check what is new in Power Semiconductors industry. Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation has expanded its lineup of N-channel power MOSFETs fabricated with the latest generation process, with a 600V superjunction structure suitable for data centers, switching power supplies, and power conditioners for photovoltaic generators. By optimizing the gate design and process, the new 600V series products reduce drain source on resistance per unit area by approximately 13%, and drain source on resistance and gate dry charge, the figure of merit for MOSFET performance, by approximately 52%, compared to Toshiba's current generation products with the same drain source voltage rating. Mitsubishi Electric Corporation announced that it will begin shipping samples of its new Annex Type Full Silicon Curbate Power Semiconductor module for industrial equipment on June 14. The module, which reduces internal inductance and incorporates a second generation silicon curbate chip, is expected to contribute to the realization of more efficient, smaller, and lighter weight industrial equipment. Infineon presented its new generation of 1200V CoolSeq MOSFETs for automotive applications. The automotive graded silicon curbate MOSFET generation offers high power density and efficiency, enables bidirectional charging, and significantly reduces system cost in onboard charging and DC DC applications. The 1200 volt CoolSeq family member offers best in class switching performance through 25% lower switching losses compared to the first generation. This improvement in switching behavior enables high frequency operation, leading to smaller system sizes and increased power density. Xperia released its first power gun fats and enhanced mode configuration for low and high voltage applications. By augmenting its cascode offering with seven new E-mode devices, Xperia now provides designers with the optimum choice of gallium nitride fats from a single supplier alongside its substantial portfolio of silicon-based power electronics components. Silvaca Group announced that SK Power Tech has adopted its Victory Technology Computer AD design solution for power devices to accelerate research and development of its next generation silicon curbate power devices. The Victory TCAD solution enables SK Power Tech to achieve significant improvements in its power management technology. Several Chinese cities have been supporting the development of the compound semiconductor industry amid surging demand for new energy vehicles, mobile phone base stations, data centers, and rail transit. Wuxi has chosen compound semiconductors as one of the five industries it plans to focus on in the future. The city in eastern Jiangsu province also intends to make great efforts to develop the production of compound semiconductor materials such as gallium nitride and silicon carbide. Making compound semiconductors or chips made from two or more elements has lower equipment requirements, needs less investment than integrated circuits, and doesn't rely on processing devices such as high-precision lithography machines, so it is crucial for China to make breakthroughs in this field. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more Power Semiconductors market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or reach me on LinkedIn. Have a great day!